all right so it's 2021 dot challenger gt plus it's fully loaded so i have added all the options that dodge website has to offer it's factory build so we'll go one by one what we actually get and is it even worth it so this is the build sheet that you can see here gt plus base price is 32 and after adding all the packages the price comes around at forty four thousand dollars so that's a price as of 2021 i think in, tw in 23 the prices went up by 2000 at least and the dealers had cover charge so that's shitty but anyways um so standard package this is what you get you can pause the video if you want to see i'm not gonna go through the standard package all right so let's start with the optional equipment the first one is plus package this is highly recommended because you get a lot of stuff in the money that you pay so you pay like three grand and you get alcantara napa performance seats so these are the seats basically and then you can pick the color in 21 they were offering three colors red black and beige aka like kind of like cream color i got the red color and it's alcantara suede seats so as you can see they are super comfy highly recommend them and the bolster is massive so it's gonna keep you in that seat when you're taking turns or doing donuts or whatever then you get heated front seats vented for, for uh, ventilated front seats as well this is kind of cool because you need to have this kind of seats to actually get that ventilated seat option so if you select this seats you're gonna automatically get the vented seats the the fan is underneath i don't know if i can show that probably not but there is a fan underneath and it just pushes air up you get also get ventilation from here as well if i'm not wrong and uh, next one is premium stitched dash panel so this is what you get let me get in the car all right so this is what you get so these are the premium st stitched dash panel so it goes all the way around there like this and over here as well for the armrest too pretty good quality i like the stitches and the same stitches go on these red seats as well so that kind of cool so if you are getting these options i would recommend get the red interiors as well i mean if you have a black gray or red car then kind of looks cool the next one is heated steering wheel and power te telescope column sorry about that so you get the heated steering wheel so um and the power steel i'm gonna have to go that side all right so this is what you get so there is a little knob this knob i just like up down pull forward pull backward so that's how it works but you also get these things where you can set the memory so if i click one that's my sitting position right there if i press two it's gonna go all the way up so that if i want to access my back i can easily do that from here so i'm gonna just set it back to number one So the way it does, it will adjust the seats. That is already saved in the memory. Then it will also adjust the steering column. And it's gonna also adjust the, my radio. So that's kind of cool. And this is the option that you get. You click on controls here, and then you get heated seat, vented seat, heated steering wheel, and same goes for the passenger side as well. And another cool thing about this is, okay, so I get in my car, I will switch on. It's gonna automatically adjust to setting number one that I just showed you. And there is an option called easy exit. Um, so if you go in settings, then you gotta scroll down to sets. And there is an option called easy exit sets. So if this is enabled, 
what it pretty much does is if you turn off your vehicle it's gonna pull see a little bit backwards so it's quite easier to get out of the car so that you don't hit your knee to the dash so this is the best feature it comes with all right so coming back here what do we got so we got you connect with 8.4 inch display so this is the you connect with 4 inch nothing special the standard one comes with the 7 inch which is right here <clears throat> it for 8.4 inch is good i'm not really a fan of you connect they're very glitchy they have a lot of issues this display is already replaced under warranty but anyways <laughs> So next one, in the plus you get 6 speaker alpine speaker system to 76 watt amplifier. So there are a lot of controversies about this thing. So before 2019, if your car Challenger or Charger is made before 2019, you're gonna get really really shitty speakers out here. A lot of people are complaining but after 2019, they made some improvements. I'm not really sure what they really improved, either amplifier or the speakers but these sounds really really good. So we got one speaker here, one over there, then three, four, and five, six. That's all you get. So you get six speakers. There is one more option which I have not added here that costs around thousand bucks. It's called nine premium alpine speaker package, something like that. So you get nine speakers. So you get three extra speakers. One will be in the center one will be on the door not exactly door but that thing over there and the one over there so that's how you get the nine speaker system to be honest it doesn't make a lot of difference i have done side by side comparison already just stick to the this six premium alpine speaker system and what you can do is you can save your thousand bucks then throw in another like 300 bucks or even 500 if that's your budget and just get a subwoofer system like this so this one is active subwoofer so you need to supply power to it and then you can just hook up to one of the speakers for the for the input and this thing works really really good and it's very easy to take it off if i want to use the trunk for something else then i'll just take off my sub out all right so the next one that you get this video is going to be a little bit bigger, but I want to explain. I want to go through each of them in detail. Sirius XM with six months radio, BS. I don't like Sirius XM, uh, but with this thing, what you can get, you can get a GPS. You can remotely start your car. You can remotely shut down your car and then unlock, lock, whatever. All these options are there in the Mopar app aka Dodge app they change the app now it's not a Mopar app anymore it's they call it Dodge app so you get all those features kind of good I have already subscribed for it so I'm paying the it, it costs two fifty dollar per year but they just call them they give you some good discounts so right now I'm paying like 60 bucks for six months so that's kind of cool then you get a Wi-Fi hotspot here that's awesome all right let me close the door so this annoying thing start beeping all right so we're, we were at the wi-fi hotspot so you can just go to you connect apps click on wi-fi hotspot you can just enable your hotspot and you should be ready to go um this has at&t network in it you can say it has at&t sim card inside of it and that thing costs a little bit more than the usual cellular network to be honest i have tried this before and the network speed is really really poor so i wouldn't recommend that the next one is guardian connected services with one year trial this is what i was talking about like you get gps you can look at your car door unlock lock start whatever um shark fin antenna then door trim panel with ambient lighting and bright pedals so we'll cover these three so let's go with the bright pedals because we have it right here so this is what you get when they say bright pedals again this is something you can buy from amazon for really really cheap price and they are exactly same now when it says door trim panel with ambient light so first of all these lights here you can see them i think they come they come standard in all the cars but the door trim lights 
it's kind of hard to show you let me turn on the maybe they're they're super super dim they're not even worth it to be honest so there is one led right here then one you will get right here and uh, da -da -da. probably that's it that's all you get there is one led here if you can see i have replaced that bulb with the with the fancy bulb that shows challenger car with the with the name written on the top like this so if i open the door i can see the challenger car logo and the name challenger like this now let's go back to shark fin antenna let's see what we get so this is what we get so this is the shark fin antenna from sirius xm it is getting used for everything basically it's getting also getting used for the network for the your radio All right, so next one is bright paddles is done so interior appearance group it's done I have a separate video in my channel you can see for the interior appearance package so I'm just gonna skip that for now let's move on to the next one technology group all right so technology group it costs 1295 before taxes and you get forward collision warning which is not available with Hellcat and Red Eye. Adaptive speed control, automatic high beam headlamp, and brain sensitive windshield wipers. So forward collision warning system. So the way it works is, uh, it's hard, kind of hard to demonstrate right now, but you, you just go here. Let me turn this thing on. And then you go safety and driving assistance and you just leave this on forward collision warning you can have it near or far so let's say you're speeding up or you have your car on adaptive cruise control right here and there is there is another car which is slowing down but you're not paying attention to it saying that the car is gonna just show you the warning here and it's gonna make beep 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 noise or whatever telling you that you need to break so you just say break 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 like big letters right here and you can just adjust the sensitivity whether you want it to trigger closer to you or a little further away i leave it far away it's kind of useful to be honest yeah it has saved me from collision a couple of times before so i would definitely recommend that and uh, now let's talk about the adaptive speed control the way it works is now this is a traditional cruise control you got here adaptive cruise control is just like hit this button see it says ready and then you have to set the of course i cannot do it because i'm not running the car right now but you can set your speed or whatever you can even adjust the distance between the car in front of you so this will decrease the distance this will increase the distance and that's all so if i increase that's what you get if i decrease that's how it is then it's gonna turn green if i have a car in front of me then it's gonna show the car symbol right here it's pretty all the cars have these features but dodge is kind of lacking behind the technology they should just give it standard in all the cars but unfortunately they don't this is what you get so this, that's the sensor right there uh, i'm not sure if it is a lighter sensor or the just call it radar <coughs> All right, so the next one that you get automatic high beam headlamp control rain sensitive windshield wipers so there are some sensor here there are a lot of things going on behind the mirror there is one sensor behind these things there are two sensors and either of the sensors will sense the rain and it's gonna automatically turn on my wipers for that I got this thing here you can see all right so if I leave it off, right? So this is the rain sensitive wipers and I can adjust its sensitivity like this. If I leave it on low, then it's gonna be manual. I can leave it on high, of course. For now, I'm just gonna leave it on auto with the highest sensitivity. So even if there is a few droplets of rain on the windshield, it's gonna automatically start wiping off. That's kind of cool feature though and it also has a 
you can turn on the settings here so you get options of mirror and wipers and you, what you can do is you can turn this thing on which says headlights with wipers if you leave it on then it's gonna automatically turn on your headlights whenever it detects the rain and that's how it works it's kind of a cool feature but very expensive for the price so pretty much that's all you get in technology group um i i'm not really sure if, I, I don't want to recommend that but i bought this car for daily drive and for long distance driving that makes sense because i got a gt so that's why i bought it i got it <laughs> all right so next i'm just gonna skip the performance handling group for now let's move on to the driver convenience package or driver convenience group so what do you get blind spot and rear cross path detection high intensity discharge headlights aka hid headlights and power multifunction mirrors and manual fold away so that's all you get in 1295 and that's super expensive so what you basically get is blind spot mirror right here so you get the little triangle there so if you have a car coming from the uh, left lane or car coming from the right lane there then you have this light like amber light in the triangular shape that will lead up and it's gonna also beep over here in the dash like uh, to let you know that you cannot pass the lane because there is car coming from behind you and the next one what was that uh, that was cross pad detection so that happens when if I put my car in reverse and there is another car coming from behind let me let me show you that right away all right so I'm gonna put my car in reverse right now right and let's say I'm gonna back up back up so right now there is nothing behind me so it's not gonna work but let's see okay there you go so it's showing me that I'm very close to something behind me if I still go further I'm going all right so this is when you know you're really close and you're about to hit something all right so let's shut it down so that's what you get there then you get HID headlamps the headlights they are not standard I noticed that standard challengers they come with that normal halogen headlight which is not that great but these HIDs they are really really good I may make another video to show you how it looks like at night um, multifunctional mirrors manual fold away so manual fold away just like that and mirror you can adjust the mirror you select left adjust it right adjust it it's as simple as that i mean come on dodge every car should come with this anyways so you get power sunroof for 1300 dollars that's a power sunroof right there i can stop it i can close it with just one one button this is manual you have to do it by hand then if i click on wind that's what happens it just kind of looks cool and good for ventilation as well i got it anyways now we got two packages left one each one is body side stripes and red brake calipers and I got the red brick calipers because I added performance handling group which I'm gonna go there soon but let's see the body stripes and the brick calipers there all right so this is what you get so these are the stripes that run from there to all the way at the back it says challenger I think only GT and RT comes with these stripes and they stopped making them after 2021. I might be wrong but you cannot see to add this option anymore. 
because I was trying to factory build 2023 and the option was gone so this is a stripe it's pretty good quality stripe the material is really good compared to cheaper material that I have here for my racing stripes but yeah so this is what you get let's let a close-up look um, and the red brick calipers so sorry about the shadow this is what you get so these are the four piston Brembo bags they're six or four looks like th that's four piston so you get red brick calipers you get same thing on the back smaller ones these are two piston might be wrong with that but gotta look up but same thing goes here and there as well pretty good it gives really nice look and these brakes are massive they are really really efficient i highly recommend them if you're getting challenger then you should get these brakes that's a no-brainer now let's talk about performance handling group so first thing that you get let me get out of the car all right so now this is my favorite package the first thing that you get is 20 inch 20 by 9 inch lights out painted wheels so usually GT and RTs they come with 20 inch and they are 8 inch uh, width of the rim but this one have 9 inch that means I can run 275 tires on these wheels so that's kind of cool right now I got 245 20 tires here and let me see where it oh, right there so 245 45 r 20 that's what you get from the factory when you get this thing 20 by inch lights out painted and the lights out painted is basically it's kind of like grayish black color that looks really really nice of course all the four tires are same this is not a white body or demon <laughs> of course but good thing is if you got nine inch rims Technically speaking, you should have 9.5, but 9 inch is also fine. You can run 275, 40, R20. That's what I'm gonna run the next time. Let's see if it improves the grip. Now, next is high performance suspension. So what do you get? So I did a lot of research about this, like what am I exactly getting? So these suspensions that you see here, one over there, Let's look at the one in the back. It's kind of hard to see, but I'm gonna try. <clears throat> I don't know if you can see. Right there, you see those yellow suspensions right there? That's what you get. Um, for the suspension, I did some research and found out that the suspensions lower the spring a little bit I think by half inch the distance between tire and the frame even one in the front this car is lowered from the factory itself okay now you can see them a little bit clear or maybe not yeah there you go yeah so these are the suspensions that you get with the performance package uh, I don't know much about the suspensions. I may make another video, but That's what I noticed the car is more stiffer It is lower to the ground and uh, The handling is Mind-blowing like you can literally take sharp turns at 70 80 or even 90. I tried to do that before with no issues and the distance from the ground right here it's kind of surprising so this is the piece of paper it's not even it's gonna be in centimeters i would say it's gonna be like 12 to 14 centimeters like this that's the length so it kind of looks cool to be honest because i have seen the basic like uh, a60 a60 or even gts uh, they are very high from the ground this distance and that that doesn't kind of look good you can also see the distance between the tire and fender 
it's pretty narrow that's good uh, so next you get flat bottom steering wheel so that's what you get this is a flat bottom then you get dodge performance pages all right so this is the last one so this pretty much concludes everything we have seen plus package technology group then driver convenience group appearance package performance package now what you get here a lot of people had issues with this because they were like oh it's just a v6 so why do you need performance pages but trust me it's kind of fun to play with and it's actually useful for a lot of things so it takes some time to load up it's kind of annoying that's why i was saying that i hate you connect to be honest so if you go here you get performance control then you also get starting sos oh, call no. sos call ended to reconnect <laughs> press the sos button no, I don't want to do it, so it's called my bad. All right, so you get performance control. I'm going to go there soon. If I click right, you should get what are the performance pages right here. Performance pages. I have shortcut right here. So I'm just going to click on it. Sorry about the screen. I was washing my car, so my fingers are dirty. Yeah, so I'm gonna keep keep running this video so you guys can figure it out how long it takes to load this page. It's, it's very annoying. Um, so if you wanna just fast forward, please feel free to do that. But it takes a lot of time. Alrighty, so this is what you get. So on the home page you get power, current gear, G-force, oil pressure. You can also do the settings. You can have whatever you want here. You get all these gauges. You can pause the video if you want to actually see and you also get timers here like 0 to 60 quarter 1 8th or breaking distance or whatever right so you can have whatever you want here but you get four spaces then you get timers here this is what you get um, then you have gauges in gauges you get pressure oil temperature coolant temperature battery voltage this is important in winters transmission temperature intake air temperature and whatnot then you get g-force so it automatically automatically saves in its local memory how much was the highest g-force that you have face front back left and rear left and right i mean then here you get oil pressure torque and the power and you get three different colors for it so blue yellow and red if i go on dyno it's pretty much the same thing so you get power and so you get the power and torque right here and the gear here so let me drive around the block and show you how it looks like all right so if i put so i'm gonna start driving now so that's how it goes Seems like I wasn't pressing enough, but oh, that's because it's paused. I was playing with it before, so, anyways, and if I go here, so that's what you see. You see a graph here, and you can literally pause it, click on this icon here, camera icon, and it will save the snapshot. But you gotta have USB inserted right here to actually save that thing you can also leave it here let's see you can see the oh let's see let's click on gauges right here oh, no. where are they uh, not the gauges my bad all right my bad let's uh, let's leave it on home and you can see you can ch check the horsepower and gear g-force or whatever in the real time so that's how it works 
Um, then another cool thing, you click on the super track pack, you get all these options, you click on the dry mode, then sorry, you click on the sports mode setup, let's say I can change all these things, so I can change engine, pedal, traction, steering, and the info is right here. So, so this is the engine, then this is the pedal shifters, that's what you get here, that's how they look. Um, then you get traction of course then steering wheel whether you want to have sports normal comfy you can do that so comfy is gonna make it easier to steer sports gonna make it a little bit stiffer that's all all right so I'm gonna run back really quick nothing fancy here launch control so you get a launch control just click on it you have to have your steering straight to activate that so click on activate the launch control as soon as you do that you get a message here to launch press the brake and quickly apply throttle so you're gonna press the brake and quickly gonna apply the throttle but of course I'm not gonna do that I don't want to hit my car to garage anyway so this video you can even set the RPM or whatever cancel it and yep, that's pretty much what you get I'm gonna leave it on normal That's a bonus thing. You can go here, click on display, then you can set up the theme. So let's say I want to change the theme now. So it's a Hellcat or Demon theme. No, that's a Hellcat. So if I click here, that's a Demon theme. Or let's try something else. Oh yeah, this looks cool. Yeah, it's kind of funny. They gave all these things in GD, <laughs> but it's kind of good. It looks nice. It changes the UI the interface that you get here it's kind of cool you also get the Android Auto and everything so basic features um, you can turn off the parking sensitivity or parking sensors when so it's not gonna beep which is annoying sometimes and yeah that's all you get you have to put it in park all right so quick summary what we had here was the plus package then we did interior appearance group again i have another video for that so you can check my channel technology group we already talked about that performance handling group driver convenience group then sunroof then we have stripes and the uh, red calipers brick calipers so that's all you get in gd that's all you can do so there are two packages that are missing unfortunately the one is um blackout package or I forgot what you call that. So blackout package basically is gonna remove all the chrome things and gonna replace them with the black. So you get black grill in the front, black interiors. I don't have that package. You cannot get that package if you have red interiors. So if you add one package, they will remove the another package and so on. That's how it works. Um yep, yeah, that's all. That's pretty much it.